Hello everyone. Let's talk about Merchant Table in RPG Builder. So Merchant Tables are a list of items that you want a certain NPC to sell to you. So in this case, you can see that we have Merchant Table um, and it's actually missing a T, but it's okay. Uh, merchant Table test number one and uh, it contains five items. You can have as many items as you want. And uh, in this case, you can see that it's selling the trainee axe or uh, currency copper and the amount or the cost rather is 110 and uh, same things for every other item just with different settings so in this case it will be helmet still the same currency and 110 also so um, i'm not gonna go in detail about the currency thing here this is going to be its own video but we can now create our own currency in the editors, um, as many as you want. They can be linked to each other. So for example, as you can see right now, I'm using the traditional copper, silver, and gold uh, currency system uh, that you see in most RPGs. And uh, copper is converting to silver and silver to gold and so on. But once again, this is for another video. Um, now, so how would you go to uh, now be using this merchant table and actually have you know an NPC in the in the world who is going to sell that to you. So it's pretty simple. You go to the NPC tab, and here you see I created a merchant one uh, NPC. Obviously the name does not matter. Uh, this is just for for me for testing. And uh, all you have to do is here on the mob type you see that there are new types now. So I added merchant and bank. Bank is not implemented yet. But um, if you select merchants, and um, well, actually, if you don't have merchants selected, you see that we don't see the merchant part. But if you do now select merchants, then um, you see that we have the merchant section and it lets you assign a merchant table. And in this case, it's pretty easy. We only have one. But yeah, so you would just have to select or drag and drop your merchant table here, assign the uh, merchant type, save. And that's pretty much it. Now you can spawn it in the world like any other NPC with the NPC spawner or manually. So if we now go in game, I'm going to be making a new character. Whatever name is fine. Um, and we will be looking for this NPC with a bit further over there. So let's maximize. Now if you go to him and you right click him, you have the merchant um, panel opening. So um, yeah, in terms of layout and things like this, it will be very easy for you to customize in the future. This is how I wanted to present it by default, but uh, you can do whatever you want. And you can see that we have indeed or five items. It's showing the item name, of course, the icon, and the, um, the cost. So we can see that it's one silver, 10 copper, and so on. Uh, one thing that's still missing, but I'm, being, I'm going to be doing is that you don't have the item tooltip right now when you hover those um, items, but it's very needed. So don't worry about that. I'm going to be doing that. And you could go ahead and buy it, but we have zero of each currency. So let's give ourselves 450 copper. So yeah, this is probably also another video I'm going to be making, but I remade the uh, developer panel and, um, but yeah, I'm going to be talking. So we have now uh, four silver and uh, 50 copper. And if I click on that, I'm buying um, the axe, of course, properly um, reducing our currencies and we can buy these. And these are completely normal items. And we look like a pretty badass naked warrior now. So that's cool. And you can go away and use those items normally. So yeah, I think it's uh, very functional. It's uh, easy to use, easy to tweak. And I hope you like how it's done. If you have any suggestion or addition that you think will fit, uh, let me know in the comments or on Discord. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.